But at you some point in time, they have to accept a line has to be drawn. If you have 300,000 people, that is enough for the rest of them. You understand? If they don't want to do, no matter what you do. And then I saw a live on, on, on the bushy here. Um, Anti-man looking person. Okay. Right? And he is a homosexual <laughs> because he made a pass at me. <laughs> right? And I said, no, I don't swing that way, sir. I am not going to be going down that road. <laughs> with no person like that i am a straight man right and i don't get involved with those those stuff and the manga vexed with me you know <laughs> the manga vexed with me like you know if i don't swing that way don't swing that way leave me alone don't come around me funny i have gay friends and stuff like that we we're all happy you know and and we interact nicely and stuff like that i have no disrespect for anybody that that is gay I have Diana, in response to media queries, the Auditor General wishes to confirm that the last financial statement submitted by the Guyana Teachers Union to the Audit Office of Guyana for audit was in request to 1989 and no submission, uh, no subsequent financial statement has since been submitted. Now you're talking about money. Kiran, Bruce is my best friend. From We grew up from, from small until now. Yeah, understand? Mudwater is my friend. Mudwater is my friend too. <laughs> when I talk to Kiran, I talk to Kiran as KB in my phone. When I talk to Mudwater, I talk to Mudwater as okay. Mudwater. Forget about the fact that that is a that is a that is a grave violation of the laws of this country, which has penalties. And for me, I would propose, I would invoke those provisions in the law and let the law take its course in terms of the penalties for not filing for not complying with the law without the witness statement of the bushy here anti-man person they would have not been able to charge me because they don't have evidence you can't charge somebody without somebody being able to corroborate something all right and their witness is not credible their witness is highly political okay. well you still didn't get your ticket this flight takes off every single day Tap that subscription button. Thanks. Um, one has to look at the genesis of all of this. And the government is claiming that it's political. The narrative of it is political, right? And obviously, if it is political, um, people are going to look past all of these benefits that they would have gotten because that would explain a reason not to protest the government's the the teachers unions interest is more protesting they have an interest in that and i have a document here let me read it for you and i need you to give me an explanation as to what does this mean um for i think you're sleeping over yeah no 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 now you um think so this is Auditor's Office of Guyana. In response to media queries, the Auditor General wishes to confirm that the last financial statement submitted by the Guyana Teachers Union to the Audit Office of Guyana for audit was in request to 1989 and no submission, uh, no subsequent financial statement has since been submitted. Now you're talking about money and you're talking about um, benefits for teachers but one of the things that should always be beneficial is the teachers union supports teachers in loans and all these kind of things where is that money and what is the importance of having an organization like the teachers union audited on a yearly basis what's the importance of that from from your perspective now let's put it this way you're a taxpayer, I'm a taxpayer, right? Mm -hmm. I pay taxes, so I want to see better roads in my community. I want to see the government using my tax money that will enhance my overall quality of life, which would directly and indirectly benefit me and bring short-term benefits, medium-term benefits, and long-term benefits for me and my children, right? But the same thing applies to any union or organization where people are paying money giving them their hard earned money and the union in this case the gtu has a legal obligation has a fiduciary duty to be held accountable 
to hold itself accountable and transparency to the teachers. It is unfortunate that these very teachers have subjected themselves to the political beat and they have not recognized that they have a right to hold the GTO accountable. What did you do with all these billions of dollars you collect all these years? Forget about the fact that that is a that is a that is a grave violation of the laws of this country, which has penalties. And for me, I would propose, I would invoke those provisions in the law and let the law take its course in terms of the penalties for not filing, for not complying with the law. The teachers also, who are the beneficiaries, ought to take in take this into account and hold the GTO accountable. What do you do with all this money? What did you benefit from? No, because it's money we're talking about. My problem, Joel, is money we're talking about. And you're a representative of me for my money. And you don't know anything about money. You understand? You're not accountable with money. You've not been accountable. You have no track record with money or accountability. So how then am I to follow you? That's my problem. That's why I leave the teachers and I did not intervene not in this. Any, the teachers have not gotten any value for their money that they paid to the GTU. Because you know why? And the record would show this. The record would prove this. Right? The GTU, ever since I know the GTU, ever since I know myself and I even go to school and follow in politics, has always politicized the issue when it comes to negotiating with whichever government. In office. The next thing is the GTU is the GTU a legally standing organization in light of the fact let me read this document to you. I'm like, you know, even do they even exist? So there's also a document from the Deeds and Commercial Registry Authority. A mid square raised in and posted by uh, the media. This is to clarify that an examination of the relevant records of the Deeds and Commercial Registries Authority disclosed that the annual returns required by Section 35 of the Trade Unions Act 9803 to be filed annually by registered trade unions was, list, was last filed by the Ghana Trade uh, Teachers Union for the year ending uh, 31st of December 20. Four on the 31st of March 2005. So for the last 10 years, they have not filed. Are they a, a legally standing organization? How? how? Yes, my knowledge critic, no, they cannot be a legally standing Like for instance, when I go in for contracts, right? When I'm going for contracts, I have to present um, what's the thing we get from GRA and NIS? Compliance. And I would have had to pay my, comp my, my NIS up to date and I compliance for NIS is every three months. So you're not afforded the opportunity to go too far with that. And GRA, you got to get compliance and you got to be compliant up to a very close date. So I'm asking myself, how does an organization that from all indication has no legal standing collecting all this money, now the government go, Stop, take the money from the teachers. You used to take the money from the teachers, give it to the union. The government goes and say, well, take your own money now. And these people are taking it. Can I? Um, I can't go and get a contract without that. What kind of lacking in the system is this? And is it a lacking or is it me just overseeing things here? No, 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 you are absolutely, you are absolutely correct, Critic. You see, you give one example, let me give another example. You got a simple business registration, right? Now, you got different legal forms of business. You could incorporate a company or you could have a, a sole trader business and by way of a simple registration. Now, that registration is renewable every year. And if you don't renew your registration, right, and if the date pass, you got to reapply. You're renewing, you gotta reapply because the date passed. Now, if you don't do that, the, that entity ceases to exist. That so, does the Ghana Teachers and, Union exist? 
How can you, the Guyana Teachers Union is even worse than the Mayor and City Council. Because the Mayor and City Council has been audited after um, 89. The Guyana Teachers Union has not been audited since, um, how much years now? Since 1989. Since I bought there's been audited. Yes, sir. You see, you see, the thing is, I want to make this important point. You see, people are saying that, oh, this is politicized and, 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 and this is GT is, is, is um, controlled by the PNC. And of course, you have, the, you have the, slip, the flip side of that. Oh, the government politicized it too. Well, let me say something. Maybe people don't know, but let me say this publicly. The state has immense power that they could do anything. You understand? Mm. The state has immense power. Pursue one to the constitution of this country. The president, the executive, has immense power. Pursue vested in him, vested in the executive. Pursue went to the constitution of Guyana. It's a public document. Anybody can go read it and see the vast, immense power that the state has. And you know what is the fact, critic? The fact is, the president don't invoke half of the power that he has. The executive don't invoke half of the power vested in it. Because you know why? If the executive invoke half of the power that the constitution of Guyana confers onto it, it would be chaos in this country. It would be chaos. You understand? That is a fact that nobody has ever talked about, even the president and the vice president. But that is a fact. No, they, they don't. They, I, I'm telling you, the president and the vice president are not militant. They express this kind of love and affection for the people of this country that I um, can't, I, uh, does not resonate with me. I, I can tell you, I, I love and I care for my fellow brothers and sisters. Um, sisters, but I'm not gonna let them fucking roll over me. You understand? But remember me not asking nobody to vote for me. If I were asking people to vote for me, I might be playing nicer. You understand? I really and truly don't give a fuck about them. The honest truth is, if I stand up in front of a man and I know he trampling for me rights, why am I supposed to play? You understand? Like I have seen it many times with the president, many times to the to the detriment of the president. The president have leaned backwards for people across this country. That I went to bad settlement and hear people say, man, how the president treating me like how we treating we and how we treating opposition people. And I said, I have to write a letter to the president expressing the people's concerns and their dissatisfaction. And that is as a direct result of the president wanting to be in fair and favor with everyone. You understand? At some point in time, they have to accept a line has to be drawn. If you have 300,000 people, that is enough. Fuck the rest of them. You understand? If they don't want to do, no matter what you do. You know why he can't do that? Because he's the president of the entire country. He's the president that reigns over the constituents of the entire country of Guyana. So he can't just do things for his supporters. He can't just do things for the persons that are for him. He has to now be diplomatic. He has to be democratic. He has to be a leader and make sure that everyone is still taken care of and everyone is still dealt with fairly. In a situation like this, yes, Big organizations like the Teachers Union should be audited to make sure that the funds are being spent correctly. They are supposed to make sure that the large organizations like the Teachers Union of any country got the books in order and everything is done in the way that it should be done. But let me remember that all of this was going on all the time and the government never said nothing until the teachers them decide that they wanted to strike for increase in wages until the teachers decided that they wanted to strike for betterment and for something more in their pockets at the end of the month none of this information was brought out to the public even though this was going on from since 1986 or 89 right 
since it, since in the 80s none of the added thing going on done since the president and the vice president the former president and now vice president was a part of the teaching profession of the nation of guyana the teachers union has not been audited right knowingly this information was swept under the rug all the time and now when they got a big strike this information is coming out that hey we can go add it and, and find out what people doing with this money and with this money going on all the time all the time nobody don't care about what's going on with the teachers nobody ain't caring about auditing for make sure that the teachers money is being spent correctly without this strike we would have possibly never had a big upheaval of persons now deciding to investigate the Guyana Teachers Union and added them for mishandling funds. Let's think about that. But that's good. That's good for all the teachers because guess what? Now things get to be a bit more transparent so you could kind of see from both sides what you're really dealing with. We're really dealing with. So technically, the president can do them type of thing there. We're critic talking about, oh, just put the rest of them to the side and deal with those who are dealing with you and deal with your supporters. And you got to remember, ultimately, when you win to be the president or the ruling party, you now have to deal fairly because you're the person that's running the entire country, not just your supporters, right? But there's a whole lot of other things going on with critic. I hear critic name calling in a story here, so with Mudwater that I think yeah, I should investigate and get to the bottom of and get a real understanding as to what's really going on. Because one person is making a claim that there's a cartoon, there's not a cartoon. They got a lot of friends, they got a lot of friends that are, you know, LGBTQ, X, Y, and Z. And now we see in implications. I hear in implications made, allegations made by Mudwater or the name that Otisha gave him. I don't know if it is true or not, but I'm going to let him tell you directly the allegations that he's making against a very famous, you know, the realest thing allegedly out of Guyana. And at the end of it, what they found? You remember what I find? Nothing. Okay. Right? So they were deliberating. Um, two months they were deliberating. And the, the DPP advised on charges based on a one witness. They, have, they had one witness in the, um, the entire matter, which is the same individual that said he saw what he saw and stuff and, and, and so on. So he is the one link. Then he went to court, he said the same lie and stuff like that, and the story okay. goes on. Okay. Um, the story is still in court, by the way. All right? But they can't prove they can't prove that I am mud water okay. because I am not mud water. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So they're doing all sorts of stuff, they're delaying the, the trial. And mind you, I need to put this okay. out there. Yeah. I have been begging for my cell phone that has about twenty thousand US dollars worth of Bitcoin. Yes. I've been begging for my cell phone from that um, cybercrime office, okay. right? From from CID, and they have not been they have not returned my cell phone to me up until this point as we speak. They said in court that they're presenting it as evidence, and that was the the grounds they were using for keeping it. Okay. And they did not present it as evidence. They have already submitted their um their prosecution or the prosecution's case the case against me. Okay. They have not used it. I went to CID because um, we're planning to, to take uh, legal action, right? So one of the advice of the lawyer was to go write the commissioner first. So I did write the commissioner. Um, the commissioner asked the commander for Region 4 to look into the matter. The commander for Region 4 told me to go and ask them nicely for my, my property, right? I went, I looked into the um, gentleman's face and he know who he is. Okay. He looked me in my face. He said, oh, police don't get involved in politics and stuff. And and we, um, you know, if we don't have no reason for, to, for keeping your cell phone, you have a reason for keeping my cell phone because during Jared's investigation, I opened my cell phone and I gave it to them mm -hmm. to see what they want to see. 
Okay. Right? I was not hiding or thing. I was cooperating with the investigation. All right? So I give it to them. That's the question, right? So this is how the police force war. Until if the police is not sure to charge you, it's going to go to the DPP. Now, if your case, if your file went to the DPP and the DPP said charge you, that means they have enough evidence to charge you. you they know have the the... statement. Okay. Without the witness statement of the bushy here anti man person, they would have not been able to charge me because they don't have evidence. You can't charge somebody without somebody being able to corroborate something. Okay. All right? And their witness is not credible, their witness is highly political. Okay. Right, we were doing an an experiment the other day with local government elections to see if persons in this country might be open to, you know, giving support to a younger political uh -huh. movement. Right, we were doing an an, an experiment, and um, we formed a little political movement and stuff, and we were doing, you know, doing some politics. Right, they viciously attacked me <laughs> because of that. And they came at my neck. They went to the persons who I had registered um, to, to go up as candidates in the um, Suzdike district. Yes. They came to these people. They coerced them. One of the ladies, um, she has a, a little stand on the store uh, on the roadside. Uh -huh. Right? So I could imagine the pressure that she was under. Right? Because she was in full support of what we were doing and stuff. We had good conversations and so on. Then I saw live on, on, on the bushy here. Um, anti man looking person, okay. right? And he is a homosexual <laughs> because he made a pass at me, <laughs> right? And I said, No, I don't swing that way, sir. I am not going to be going down that road okay. with no person like that. I am a straight man, okay. right? And I don't get involved with those, those stuff. And the man get vexed with me, you know. <laughs> the man get vexed with me, like, you know, if I don't swing that way, don't swing that way, leave me alone. Don't come around me funny. I have gay friends and stuff like that. We, we're we all happy, you know, and and we interact nicely and stuff like that. I have no disrespect for anybody that, that is gay. I have a question. Right? Go, Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. This is a question I have now. So, basically, you try to say Otisha don't personally know you. This is what you say. Otisha, I have never met Otisha in person, except for when Otisha came and threatened my life at CID in front of all those policemen there in front of all the police yes she did come up the step and tell me that she can deal with me right and, <laughs> and slit your throat like that i was like y'all seeing this so i told my i told my lawyer what happened he said to file a police report they um the disuse or the cost or whoever it is took my statement uh -huh. and he shoved it in a pity old body what you understand <laughs> Yeah. He take my statement and he push it in the bamzi. What? <laughs> this we do, right? And like I said, I'm doing a documentary about this whole yeah. thing, and we're gonna get everybody exposed. And you see that live-in guy on a page that is run by Kwame Makai, right? right? We coming for them to Colonel um Comrade Colonel Jones or whatever. I am watching everybody. It's just that me and Tag Mila is them, yeah. right? But they got something when you're the police and they want to charge politicians, right? Yes. Go ahead. No. Sorry. No, I say you're very knowledgeable because this is what confused me. Question, are you currently married? Yes, I, I am married. I'm oh, happily oh. married. We're expecting another baby right now. We have not announced it, but um, I'm, I'm about to have three children. Okay, next question. How did Otisha know your wife work at a hospital? Do you know your wife, well, allegedly is cheating on you with a doctor? The my doctor? wife is not my my wife is not cheating on, on me okay. all right i can just tell you that i i am very i am very much confident that okay. my wife is not cheating on me because i know i know myself and i have that 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 level of okay. confidence in my relationship yes. and in my life and in my wife okay. i love my wife and my wife loves me and we got each other's back yeah. It's the oldest thing here that's going on. It's, it's she's saving enough people because she's saying that I don't need to stoop to that level. Okay. Is she saving so man, enough people? So let me tell you something. Me let me tell you. Oh, 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 let me tell you how serious I am. Yeah. Right? You see, I got, I got, got all my um, my cameras and so watching, mm -hmm. right? Watching out back. Yes. No, I knowing how troublesome this Otis Pearson could be and how much he is out to get me. He is out to get me, sorry. I was preparing for them to come by me tonight, sir. Yeah. Right? You see? Oh, shit. I was That's preparing right. for them to come by me tonight. 
Right? You see the thing where they're saying about F up and done? It's not one person put F up and done. You see, I come out here and I am I, I am easy going and I don't mess around nobody or, or nothing like that. Right? But <laughs> I ain't no easy, I ain't no easy person, okay. Mr. Pearson. So if you want a confrontation, you need to come, right? You need to come. And you see how, well, how quick you run off the life when I come on the life? Because listen, if you take a copy, police step and trap you, you said to fuck you up. What more you want to do? You serious? That's the police, the police station is Otisha's domain. What? <laughs> right i uh, i want her to come i mean him i keep saying her him that individual has a penis and it's a man right a man. <laughs> you heard it directly from Mudwater. Mudwater give the information that none of we never hear before and look let's have a conversation about that in the comment section do you believe them allegations is real or it's just something that Mudwater is saying because a couple of weeks ago, watch, even not, not to mix the two together, but even the vice president, right? Dr. Bar Jack Dio, he went on he interview and he said that you know what the APNU or the coalition is doing X, Y, or Z, and then now you're hearing nothing more being spoken about it. Says so this one of these regular allegations where people just say something and then you know it's just something to set for brush off or for take the light away from them and what's really going on with them because that's a real crazy allegation for him to make but let me talk about it in the comment section what do you think i don't know i just present the information here at delta 9 media we stay neutral on what's going on we don't try to jump on one side or the next because to be honest with you we just here presenting the information and Mudwater and Gadiji right now got a fire they struck out that's going straight at Otisha and everybody else who Mudwater get beef with. Plus, Gadiji can tell you his relation with Mudwater. Because he Mudwater's soldier from since back in the days when they used to go to school. He said they used to go to Charleston together. He said it. But earlier, Otisha said that, you know, we name again used to go to Joseph. Mudwater used to go to Joseph, not Charleston. I mean, enough people in, in, in Guyana is go to enough different high school and different, different thing. And Charleston is not far away from Joseph anyways. It's a little distance, but it's not too far away. It's same in tongue. But who knows who's telling the truth and whose story got a little bit of the lie inside of it. But guess what? I can get right into the conversation right now with Gadi G, Mudwater, and doggy and they can tell you all about this new diss track that's going straight at a t-shirt that they just dropped called trending check it out on Gadi g page and come back in comment and tell me if you agree with me that is a fire track <laughs> good night you're number one target around the world by the lgbq community you live in america but you know all this stuff in guyana it's not me it's my mouth why did you write that song mr Gadi g tell me break down the song for me please Ask you first, ask you who's mud water. And if I am mud water. Well, it's just like, look, friend, you just think you're a liar. No, well, it's just a liar. Let him give it. Let him fuck give it. Liar! Who is mud water? Are you yeah. alive? You lied. Very lied. Oh, me. Oh, me, you see myself. It's so ugly, ugly. We can see you, Gaddy. You got all the blue drawers. You got space. See? And your fucking hair shine. <laughs> Yes, Mr. No, no. Thank you for calling Listen, in. I appreciate it. Yes. Anybody want? I know who's I know who's Madwato, but we can't give out such good information for free, doggy. You know what I mean? Who is Sam Fojo? Fojo is my brother oh, from another model. He's your brother from another model. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but why you give out Fojo? Why you got to know that? <laughs> Kieran, Kieran. Bruce is my best friend from we grew up from from small until now. You understand? Mudwater is my friend. Mudwater is my friend too. <laughs> when I talk to Kieran, I talk to Kieran as KB in my phone. When I talk to Mudwater, I talk to Mudwater as okay. Mudwater. How me see myself? It's so ugly, ugly. We can see you got it. You got all the blue dress, you got space, sleep, and your fucking hair shine. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Mr. No, Gadiji, no. thank you for calling Listen, in. I appreciate it, yes. Anybody want... I know who's, who's Mudwater, but we can't give out such 
good information for free dog. You know what I mean? Who is um, Fojo? You do Fojo is my, is my brother oh, from another model. He's your brother from another model? Yes. But <laughs> well, why you give out Fojo? Why you gotta know that? <laughs> Kieran, Kieran, Bruce is my best friend. From We grew up from, from small until now. You understand? Mudwater is my friend. Mudwater is my friend too. <laughs> when I talk to Kieran, I talk to Kieran as KB in my phone. When I talk to Mudwater, I talk to Mudwater as okay. Mudwater. I don't talk to KB as Mudwater or Mudwater as KB. I have two different okay. numbers. When I want to link yeah. KB, I link KB, yeah. which is okay. Kieran Bruce. When, 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 whenever Mudwater want me to do yeah. business for him, Mudwater will link me to do business for him. Mudwater link me and say, me more what is gaff for the regular okay me more what is this gaff more than how me key run this gaff i have a question yeah. why Understand? did you never call to the guy at the police force and tell him no he's not more water when your childhood friend were being accused went to the courts and all of that which defend with friends correct of course but guess what i don't have to defend myself i don't have to defend my friend because me and my friend go up together i know my friend's level of intelligence okay. And I know my friend is very capable of defending himself and he will make rings around them. So when if, if it's somebody if, if my friend was Pagli, I, I would have come to his defense. But my friend is highly intelligent. So I know he doesn't need my help to defend himself. He's doing a very good job, obviously. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's bright. He's get, to the, get to the jingle that got me in trouble. That's why I want to. Well, where did like jingle come from? Well, that's, that's why I want to. Where did jingle come like, from? I told you guys. Yes. Me Mudwater is friend too. Mudwater hits me up and I have receipts. I could show you how everything make. I get all the, all the, all the, the, the chat. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, Mudwater this is, this is, me up me this is an evidence-based live, yes. right? We're showing evidence. evidence yeah. You're talking on the phone with us chat take place. Well, I mean, I'm going to I'm 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 send you the screenshot of me Mudwater no, no, conversation. No, no, no. Don't no, 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 send no screenshot. I'm going to fabricate nothing. We want to see no. So if you got to put your phone by a mirror or yeah. something or something, well, let me see what this tune Mudwater yeah. come up with with this, this, whole, this, whole, this whole song. Because... I am curious. Why you we got, got Where's Gotti? <laughs> you put him on and I like how you intercept him. I like how you intercept him. Gotti wasn't the smart one. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's smart. He's, He's smart. Smart or what? No, 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 no. That guy is very, is very witty. He, you think him and I cut from smart. the same club. Oh, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Where is Gotti G? <laughs> no, let me friend. tell you. Oh, Gotti G, my friend. That's a good friend, you know. Let me tell you, he can screenshot it. He probably got on a screenshot it for know. Senate. I know. Because uh, remember, you got you got to put the thing out live. You, you, you can't go on and think. Cause people can easily say you oh, you fabricate something or something, yeah. right? So if he's saying that he's more, what? I had some I conversation. Oh, you still didn't get your ticket. This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. We have extended the um, and shown enough patience over the years. And the time has come that we have to show in a very uh, practical way in, in uh, how, how we feel about all these impositions every year with salary increases. And our main concern here is about salary increases. Verb, well-crafted CMOS gummies, nutritious, delicious superfoods. What's your favorite flavor?